Hello folks, well we've got a pneumatic Henry for you today, very popular videos, the Henry ones on my channel. Anything with a smiley face and uh, lots of folk watch them. That's why I don't show my face often because I'm a miserable git. But anyway, I try and keep myself cheerful by unboxing vacuums. And here we have what a lot of people say is very, very rare, but it isn't that rare because when I started looking for cream and brown Henry's on eBay, quite a lot pop up. It would be very rare to get a new in the box one and very rare, I suppose, to get one complete with all the tools. This one doesn't have all the tools. It's been thrown in there, look. Poor Henry, thrown in. Let's, oh, hang on. Get him out. Ugh. Right, kick the box. Right, that was quick. Right, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you all for the next video. Bye for now. What? Oh, oh. You want to see more? What, well, what is it to see? Look, it's just a vacuum, isn't it? Oh no, look. Look what's happened to his smile. Oh dear. And he's missing, he's missing the other sort of line. Oh no, poor Henry. Poor Henri. And my dog Molly has come to have a look at Henry. Right, Molly. Are you going to have a look at Henry or go? I'm just going to move the box and we'll have a look. So this is all I've got. The handle, mm, pretty bad condition, isn't it? But we do have, we do have the original brown hose. So a lot of the uh, cream and brown Henry's you might see on eBay don't have a brown hose. So it looks in pretty good condition. I would, I would, I would guess it's original. It's got the old short uh, cuff, hose cuff. The newer one's a bit longer than that. Okay, let's get down to Henry's level and uh, have a bit of a closer look. So here he is, cream and brown Henry. I'm not sure if we can date Henry, but uh, we've got We've got the old rating sticker on here, so we'll read that out. So here we go, Pneumatic Beaminster Dorset, England, HVR 200, 240 volts, 800 watts, input with electric nozzle, 900 watts total. And just around the back, this is a single speed Henry. Around the back here, we do have the input for a power nozzle and a single speed rocker switch. And at the back we also have two exhaust vents. Let's have a look inside. And we have quite a smelly vacuum. Not too, not too dirty, it's not too bad, but that's dirty. It looks like it's possibly the original filter. Only feels like a single layer. It does, does smell, but at least they've put a new Epiflow bag in. Because of course, even an old Henry will take the newer Epiflow bags. And there we have inside, a little bit different. We've got two bolts showing for the front wheels and the front wheels are brown not black and two ooh, two brown rear 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 i do have trouble getting my tongue around my r's folks as some of you have pointed out can't help it it's jonathan was he he started the trend so two rear wheels and this little thing here that sticks out, that's, that was put on to prevent Henry tipping up, I think, but I don't think it works. And uh, eek! Well, it's all very clean, isn't it? For old Henry. Certainly, uh, if this has been used a lot, they've used it with bags. But um, motors in there, what else can I show you? So 
we need to turn Henry on, see if he works. Pop the bag back in, pop the filter. Make sure, of course, the Henry wording lines up as best we can. And even the cable, so this looks fairly original. Oh, I don't know, I was gonna say the, the cable did look brown, but it's not, it is black. I'm not sure if the cable was ever brown on these. It's certainly a thicker quality cable than the Henry's you buy nowadays. Oof. Still very long cable. Okay, let's go plug plug Henry in. I'm not sure which is on or off. I'll assume that that's now on. Okay, folks. Is Brown Henry, Cream and Brown Henry, going to work? <gasps> He's not. Let's turn him on. Now we'll try. He's sounding a little bit, he's sounding a little bit rough. I'm not sure if that's the original motor. I never pretend to be a Henry expert. In fact, someone pointed that out in a, in a group. A group was suggested to me on Facebook, a vacuum cleaner collectors group. It came up on the suggestion, so I had a look. And it wasn't a private group, so I was able to have a look at some of the comments. And that's the thing, don't ever do that. I shouldn't have done it because I got someone bad mouthing me about my knowledge of pneumatic cleaners and uh, somebody who I thought was a friend laughed at that comment so that's why folks I stay I'm just going to unplug Henry for now that's why unfortunately I don't have I don't join any groups or forums now um because there's a lot of folk that don't like me but <laughs> You can't make everyone like you, and I wouldn't want everyone to like me. As long as the people I care about like me, that's all that matters. My dogs like me, my partner likes me, I think my mum likes me a bit. That's all that matters in my world. And if I have friends, they like me and I like them, so I don't have really many friends, but at least I have Henry. You'll never say nasty things about me, will you, Henry? No, he won't. Well, that's all very well and good. I mean, I'm a bit disappointed about the wear on the handle. And of course, we're missing all the other tools, but it's nice to have a cream and brown Henry. Oh, hang on though. There's another box here. I must have missed it. Got so many boxes in my living room at the moment. There's, there's another box here. What's that? I don't remember that being delivered. Oh, hang on then, let's open that up. We'll put this cream and brown Henry to one side and we'll see what's in this box. What could it be, folks? Right, let's have a look in here. It's a much bigger box than my cream and brown Henry came in. What could this be? Oh, oh. Oh well, it's a bit better packed, isn't it? Got some bubble wrap at least. Uh, oh, got a nozzle. Oh, oh, we've got, I've never seen a nozzle like that before. It's a cream and brown nozzle. Hey, hang on, that's good, isn't it? Do you think that would go with my cream and brown Henry? Let's see. Oh, yeah, I think that goes. What do you think, Henry? Do you like that nozzle? He likes it. Well, you might get to play with it. I don't know. Put you, put the nozzle there next to Cream and Brown Henry. We'll throw that packaging away. We've got a hose. Oh, well, it looks like it is. It is a Henry hose. It's a pneumatic hose, but it is black. 
I'm not sure, hmm, might be original or might not be. There's so many copies, but it is an earlier one if it's original because it's got the short cuff again. Ooh, interesting. What else have we got? Oh. Oh, we've got a curved handle section. It is pneumatic, it's a little bit distorted at the end, but it does have a brown suction control. Fantastic. Oh, we have a wand. Well, uh, <laughs> it's just, I think, a generic wand. I don't think it's even a pneumatic one, but it's got a black end on it. But it, it, it'll probably fit. It's a, yes, it's a 32 millimeter diameter. Ooh. Oh, another wand here. Oh, hmm. There's no end on that at all. It's just got, it's just got holes in, unfortunately. Could be an original pneumatic one, but missing the end. Oh, a filter. Hmm, quite dusty. Phew, and quite smelly as well, folks, but not sure. That could be, could be original. It feels the same sort of material as the uh, Cream and Brown Henry I've just shown you. And finally, what do we have in here, folks? I wonder, what could it be? What am I about to reveal? Let's take all his wrapping off. I'm assuming it's mail. It, oh, hang on. It's another Cream and Brown Henry. Mm, he's got differences though. Let's have a look at them. Oh dear, he's lost his bottom. Now this Cream and Brown Henry may be even earlier than the Henry I've just shown you because the lettering on this one you can actually feel the lettering. They do feel like stickers. I think nowadays they're sort of stamped on on the production line, but these feel like they could be peeled off. But let's take Henry's head away from his body. It is actually cream. The handle is in a bit better condition. We've even got on the top here a little pneumatic sticker there. Unfortunately, as you can see, the rating plate has rubbed off. Uh, I can, it says pneumatic, be Mr. Be Mr. Dorset, and it's also an NVR200. It's 800 watts, I think. I think it's the same rating sticker. As the one I've just shown you, it all looks very similar, doesn't it? This one's a bit, bit dustier. Again, I wonder if that motor is original. But I think the top of this one is slightly better than the top of the other one. Here we have the bottom again with the, oh, it's a bit rusty. I wonder if he's been used to pick up any liquids. They've, they've gone rusty, those. Hmm, oh, and look, at the front here, these are black. I think what's happened, folks, this has had new wheels replaced. So all in all, I would say that the top is better, but the bottom is worse than this Henry here. Hang on. Oh, come on, Henry. So I think out of these two, I'll cobble together one that's pretty good. We'll have to see what the motor sounds like on this Henry. So we'll pop that one away. This looks just the same, doesn't it? Yes, we've got the single speed rocker switch. We've also got the power takeoff socket. It'd be fantastic if I could get a power head for this. We've got a plug. Now, did we have a molded on plug? Ah, right. I don't think this, this on the first brown, cream and brown Henry, this has a molded on plug. And I don't think they would have had a molded on plug. I don't think so at this stage. I'm not sure if they did. Most vacuum cleaners sort of pre-1992. 
didn't have a molded on plug. This one hasn't got a molded on plug. It's, it has got a black cable. Again, seems thicker and better than cables nowadays. Didn't have a bag, so I'll pop in a HEPA flow bag. I'll pop the filter in. I'm going to wash both these filters. Pop Henry's head on. I must say I prefer, looks better doesn't it with the the cream writing as opposed to the white writing on the other one I've got. Um, before I plug this Henry in though folks, I'm just going to <laughs> rewire the plug because as you can see look whoever's put this plug on hasn't done it properly because we can see the blue neutral and brown live wires we shouldn't be able to see those this is a perma plug prc fused i've never seen one like that oh, but it is made in england okay folks i'll just open up this plug wire it in correctly and we'll see if this cream and brown henry actually works Okie dokie, so I've uh, rewired the plug. So the outer insulation is under the cord grip, as it should be. Okay, I think Henry is in the on position. Let's try him out. Oh, Henry, you sounded like you had a load of mice in your squeaking. Oh dear. Well, Henry's motor in this one sounds worse than this Henry, I think. Um, yeah, let's, uh, let's get the other Henry out. Let's put them next to each other, see if they recognize each other. Henry, here's Henry. Hello, right. They do know each other, I'm sure. I don't know if they're cousins or brothers. I'm, depends when they came off the production line, I suppose. Right. And I think the cable, I don't know if the cable seems shorter on this one. This must be a replacement cable on this Henry because of the molded on plug. Well, because I've got an extra long cable, I'm going to plug this Henry into the kitchen. So, you just talk amongst yourselves a minute. Here, what do you think to that bloke then? Well, he seems a bit odd. Not really my cup of chamomile. Watch out, he's coming back. Right, let's turn this Henry on. Oh, yes, this one sounds better, but you've got a better, you've got a better hat than this one. But inside your hat, your motor doesn't sound so good. Both of you need looking at, don't you? Eh? You need something doing to you. If only, if only I could try them out though with a power head, that'd be fantastic. I'm going to try this one out, I think, first. Um, as the motor sounds better need to take the bag out there was no bag with this pop the bag back in and this filter which looks cleaner so at least we've got the original brown hose so that's good that's a plus point you can sit and watch there we go you go out the way there in the background so we'll take this Henry and hopefully this curved part yes so that looks original doesn't it with the brown suction control um, but yes unfortunately we we don't have a there should definitely be an end piece on there but it does it fits and there'll be no loss of suction because those holes are covered up and then we can pop on it's definitely non-genuine tube, the other one. 
and this now i believe this is a genuine pneumatic nozzle i've certainly seen it on some older machines and it does match so we'll pop this hose out the way the black hose and uh, we'll see made in west germany it says on here all right henry let's pop you there and we'll give you a bit of a push That's quite a nice nozzle. I had to push down a bit to stop it skipping, but it uh, it grips the carpet nicely, but it doesn't clamp down like so many of these low energy nozzles we get with the EU type cleaners, the ones with the EU regulations now. You've seen a lot of my videos where the nozzles just stick to the carpet. You can't move them. You don't get any airflow. And so you don't really get any pickup. So let's try it again. So if I just gently move it across my Saxony carpet without putting a little bit of pressure, it will skip. But all in all, yes, yeah, it's, it's quite a good nozzle that. As I said, it says made, let me double check, it says made in West Germany, so I'm assuming it's a Wesselweg nozzle. But oh, to get a power head, because I wanted to get an earlier Henry with the power takeoff socket at some point, which is why I was looking for one. I happened to find the cream and brown ones. Both of these have the power takeoff socket. So if I can get my hands on, well, a brown colour power head to fit this. Wow, that would be fantastic. Oh, hang on, what's that over there? What's this? Uh, oh. oh, what's this? Just found this. Hmm. Oh, well, look, it's a cream and brown power head. It's not branded pneumatic but it looks very like a pneumatic power head but it's cream and brown so it'll, it'll kind of go with Henry won't it hmm this says VS60 FMM Whitney Oxen 100 watts and I believe it said 100 watt with the power head so we should be able to use this Crikey, we've got a metal, metal brush roller, metal base plate, little litter, litter picker in the middle, two wheels at the back. Well, yes, but yeah, we need to know if it's going to fit the end of the wand, if that's a 32 millimeter fitting. But we also need to look at the end of this long cable and see. Oh, well, we've got a two pin plug it looks like it will fit and in this bag also there's a load of little clips because this power head we have to clip the long ho long cable to the hose using these clips here wow right i'm not sure i think we've got some different sized clips we have two different sized clips We've got a bigger clip, that'll be for the hose obviously, and some smaller clips, but they look very small. I think they're even too small for the for the wand. I don't want to break them, they feel quite brittle. The plastic's not very pliable. Anyway, let's see if we can fit this power head to the cream and brown Henry. Okie dokie, well, I fitted the power head to the cream and brown Henry. The cable is a little bit short. I would say it could do with being a few inches longer, but it's it's okay. 
and we've plugged it in to the back just about see now I've tried it both ways and you can plug this in both ways so I don't think it matters which way it goes I'm assuming but anyway I've plugged it in this way around we'll see if it works we'll see if it works first we'll see if the uh, brush roll rotates when I switch on Henry Well, yes, seems to work. Fine and dandy. Okay, let's give it a go. Wonder how it's going to cope with my plush pile carpet. It seems to work fine but I did have to have the suction control open because when it was closed it was struggling I could start to smell burning rubber so I'm assuming the belt was starting to rub against the spindle because the brushes were prevented from rotating so when it's on its uh, open setting when that's open it works it's very flexible a lot more flexible than the electric head on the later Henry's that I've shown you on the Henry Hound and the Henry Turbo. But then again, I think this is the head that uh, Pneumatic did use. I've seen this in black with Pneumatic written on it, but it's exactly the same. So I'm assuming they bought them in from somewhere else. But being so clueless about Henry's and Pneumatics, I couldn't possibly tell you. I'm just surmising, folks. I'm not an expert, I've never pretended to be, I'm just very enthusiastic about the humble domestic vacuum cleaner. And look at Henry with his wire attached to him. But I think this setup now is fairly rare, I would say, to have the brown hose but also to have a matching electric head is uh, quite good and a welcome addition to my ever-growing pneumatic collection but obviously one of these will get sold on they both need looking at the motor in this henry sounds better doesn't squeak as much but i prefer the top of this henry so i'll certainly be keeping the top of this and probably the bottom of that one mm, just before i go though let's just check the power takeoff socket actually works on the other one not that it matters because I can replace all the internal gubbins but we'll, we'll give it a go I think the easiest thing to do is to just unplug it and unplug the hose move Henry to one side in fact I'll take Henry's bag out because there's no bag in the other one yet I don't suppose it's picked very much up. There was a little bit of dust in there. I did vacuum before the video though. Okay, put you to one side. It's, uh, it's your brother's turn. Pop the bag in. And then the filter. Let's pull out the cable a bit more. All right. Okay, Henry, you're going to have a power head attached to you. I bet you've never had one of those before, have you? We'll see if it works with you. There we go, that's plugged in. Okay, let's have a look.
Well, Henry managed to pick up all that dirt, although <laughs> it stained my carpet a bit because it was potting soil. I've been repotting a lot of house plants recently and used another vacuum to clean it up and uh, forgot that it would probably mark the carpet. But never mind, it's another job for my Bissell when I finally get my Bissell big green clean machine out and give the whole carpet a really good clean before Christmas. Did you notice that this Henry that was squeaking rather a lot after he'd been on a while, he doesn't squeak so much. Let's, let's just try him again. We'll take off the hose and the electric head. I think it was, yes, it was this one. It was uh, the Henry with the cream writing. He was sounding rather squeaky, but now because he's warmed up, Well, he sounds a lot, lot better, doesn't he? He just, I expect he's not been used for a while and just being used for a bit has stopped the squeak. I don't know. You might have stopped squeaking permanently, I'm not sure. I'm sure it was this one that was squeaking. Well, double check, just make sure. Plug in this one. Well, <laughs> there's hardly anything in it now, is there? <laughs> so I'm going a bit soft, folks. I tried turning this Henry on at the same time, but realised that I'd unplugged this one to plug in this one. And you don't work on batteries, do you? Well, this one doesn't anyway. These two came out long before a battery powered Henry came onto the market. So there you go, folks. Two cream and brown Henrys. One will be going, one I'll be keeping. Definitely be keeping this top. Now for the motor again, probably be keeping the whole thing. And I think I'll take the bottom. Let's do it now, folks. Although, whoops, sorry Henry, I'm not sure which, it's, it's very little in it, is there, with the face. Slight difference in colour, I think you can just detect. This Henry is slightly creamier in colour than this one. This one's been on his holidays recently, got a little bit of a tan, whereas this Henry doesn't like the sun. He prefers to stay inside with the curtains drawn, don't you? Hmm? Anyway, there we go, for all of you who wanted me to do an older Henry, well here is an older Henry, the cream and brown Henry. If you have any comments or questions about these two cream and brown Henry cleaners, please comment below and I'll see you all very soon. I've got another Powerhead pneumatic cleaner to show you at some point, maybe in a few weeks. I might wait till next year for that. Time of making this video, we're in October, knocking on for November. Can you believe it? already but i'm pleased with these two machines i'll get one decent machine and i'm very pleased to have the power head and also pleased to actually have a brown hose to match there you go for me and the two henry's it's goodbye and thanks for watching